it looks like we're back talking about elements. And in this video, we want to talk about element number 76, osmium. Before we begin, we have to say that osmium is known as the densest metal and the densest element in the entire world. And that's why it's extremely hard. And anything that has a hard structure is very brittle and it's easy to break. Another point that can separate osmium from other metals is that it's not completely silver like them. It has a hint of blue and you cannot find any other metal that naturally has a hint of blue like osmium. And you could see it right here where it's compared to iridium. When we say osmium is osmium, we truly mean it because each cubic centimeters of it weighs about 22.59 grams. But it's interesting to know if you take the same amount of iron, one cubic centimeter of that weighs 7.8 grams. And just by that, you could see how much denser and heavier osmium is. If you've seen our video about the metal iridium, you'll know that it's extremely dense as well. It's just the tiny bit less dense in osmium, but it's up there. And another thing that iridium and osmium have in common is that they're extremely rare, one of the rarest metals in the world. And if you want to compare the rarity to gold, it's 1000 times more rare than gold. But that doesn't mean the price is higher. It's actually lower than gold, which is funny. And that's all has to do with the user friendliness of it. You really can't use osmium like you can use gold. If you remember in the beginning, we said it's a very hard metal and it's brittle. And that means it's difficult to work with. And when something is difficult to work with, it will never have the potential of something that's easy to work with. But where can you find osmium where it's his mine located? Nowhere, because there is no osmium mine. The osmium you see is usually found in copper and nickel mines. The highest melting point of a metal belongs to tungsten. If you want to melt tungsten, you have to heat it up all the way to 3,399 degrees Celsius. Osmium is extremely high. It's at 3,033 degrees Celsius. And that just adds to our point that it's very difficult to work with. Once again, if we compare it to gold, gold melts at 1,063 degrees Celsius. And that means you could literally take a torch in your kitchen and melt the gold. But you need an industrial machine to melt osmium. So any way you look at it, osmium is hard to work with. It's extremely difficult to find. It's very hard to melt, difficult to work with. And it's not as effective as other metals that are much better in every sense. An interesting use of osmium that you might see around it's at the tip of the luxury fountain pens. And the reason osmium is used is because it's a very hard metal and it will last much longer than other metals. And it's kind of luxurious to say the tip is made from the rarest metal in the world. A lot of people throughout history tried to use osmium in jewelry. But of course, it's difficult to work with and they were not successful. Even if they made something, it would easily break because it's so brittle. But what are some positives and negatives about osmium? How is it used? Is it radioactive? Is it toxic and poisonous? If osmium is in its metal form, it's not harmful whatsoever and you could easily touch it without a problem. But if you turn it into an oxide, specifically osmium tetroxide, it becomes extremely toxic. And if it's exposed to open air, it would start to oxidize and it would make the air in that environment very toxic to breathe in. It's interesting to know that people have gone blind because they breathe in this toxic gas. The scientists are very careful to work with such substance and that's why it's usually in a container with argon gas. The argon gas will keep this material very stable and it doesn't allow it to oxidize. But just like we said, when they do experiments and purposefully expose it to fresh air, it starts to oxidize and makes the air toxic. The scientists that have accidentally smelled osmium tetroxide have said that it smells exactly like garlic. Another interesting fact is that osmium is an ancient Greek word and it literally translates into smell. 
so even people back then realized that this metal stinks. There are six metals in a group called the Platinum Group, and these six are extremely rare, expensive, and they're actually called precious metals. In order, they go Platinum, Iridium, Osmium, Palladium, Rhodium, and Ruthenium. And another thing is that these six are actually the six rarest metals in the world, much rarer than gold. But some of them are more expensive than gold like platinum, and some of them are cheaper like osmium. But except the laboratory and some fountain pens, where can you find some osmium being used? You can find it in some small places. Like for example, the tip of a gramophone needle or a record player is made from osmium and just like how a fountain pen prevents it from wearing out quickly. But when you use a bigger piece, it becomes very brittle and it breaks down. But why don't they mix osmium with other metals and make it an alloy? Unfortunately, osmium is not very user friendly. You can't just mix it with other metals and make it stronger and denser. It does not work out and it does not mix very well. In a way, osmium has lost the war with platinum. Platinum is just as good. It's not as dense, but it works better in every sense. But let's see how much osmium costs. It's very rare, so technically it should be expensive, right? But unfortunately, there's no demand for it. And that's what keeps the price down. And of course, just like gold and silver, it doesn't have a global price where it goes up and down. Because regular people like you and I aren't gonna go buy it. It's only laboratories and special companies. Right now, a gram of osmium will set you back about $40 to $50. If you want to compare it to gold, each gram of gold will set you back $78.